Okay guys, BlizzardDB here with the After Effects tutorial and many people have been asking me about motion graphic tutorials and things like that so I decided to do like a little step by step series on animation, animating motion graphics and things like that. Now before I get into this tutorial, all I want to say is um, I don't know what was wrong with my other ScreenFlow program but it made my audio really weird so I got a older version of ScreenFlow just to see if the audio would be a little better because I know some people were complaining about how loud my keys sounded and when I clicked and things like that so hopefully um, me going back to the older version will um, erase that problem and also on my last tutorial I did um, I'm really not getting as many likes as I would like on tutorials so um, I'm doing these for y'all and there's really no point in me doing them because I mean if y'all are just going to watch it and learn from it but not at least like the video then I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do them like if I don't get in between 100 or 200 likes for this tutorial I'm just the next tutorial is not gonna come so y'all can unsubscribe or do whatever but I'm just letting you guys know so um first off uh, we're gonna make a new composition uh, I'm just gonna make it 10 seconds 59 frames per second is fine and we're gonna call this um, animation um, okay let me drag this down because I need a bigger screen okay so um first off what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new solid and uh just make it white uh, come over here to effect generate uh you need a ramp just change this to radio the bottom color drag it down to about right there and the top color we're just gonna make it completely white so we have that and uh, we're just gonna rename this one background and lock the layer now um now uh, you can import like paper textures and things like that but a lot of people have been asking me how like I do textures over my animations and stuff so uh, if you just drop this texture in on top if you go to um if you right click go to um where is it at? Where in the world? Blending modes. Okay, I couldn't find it. And click overlay. And uh, just turn down the opacity to about 30. And you got your nice little paper texture. Actually, you can turn it up to about 45 and make it a little bit more detailed. So you got your paper texture right there. And we're just going to lock this layer too so we don't move it. Now, I'm um, coming into the animation. So, uh, this tutorial is pretty much just showing you guys keyframes and how to use keyframes to make your motion graphics look more realistic. And uh, so I'm just gonna type uh, tutorial, and uh, I want this to be bold. And let's make this a little bigger. Uh, okay, that's good. Now, um, also, if you come over here and hit title. Uh, proportion uh, and just line it up line this up to the middle that's about good right there alright so we can turn that off real quick so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, basically animate this in so uh, you see a P for position make a keyframe uh, go over 20 frames and keyframe it again and come back over here and just hold shift and just drag it um, out of the window um, okay so now we have this basic animation and uh, let me drag this down repeat um, so we basically have this basic animation now it doesn't look like much because um, it's a linear keyframe and after effects all keyframes are linear keyframes now how do we spice this up a little bit to make the keyframe smoother well, you could right click on the keyframe, hit easy in, uh, play it again, as you see the keyframe is just a little bit smoother. But how can we make this smoother? Um, just come over to your keyframe, click it, come into your graph editor. Now, um, inside your graph editor, you can just pretty much drag your keyframes and play around with them. So now, 
if I drag this up and I'm gonna drag this one in a, a little bit more okay so now as you see it comes in and it kind of gradually slides in a little bit and um, as I play it through you see now our animation is looking a little better so uh, now that we have that done uh, we want to make this look more realistic because his animation looks pretty plain just like this I mean if something was to come in that fast in real life it would um it would have a certain type of movement to it and um to achieve this movement what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to effects and presets <clears throat> all right and we're just gonna type in CC split Oh snap, not CC split, what am I thinking of? <laughs> CC slant, okay. Um, so I was wondering, I was like, why is there two? And I don't know why it's not going on my text layer. Oh, cause I don't have a click. Okay, so I'm um, gonna make a keyframe right here. I'm gonna come over to our last keyframe. And if you hit U on your keyboard, it'll bring up all your keyframes. I'm gonna make a keyframe right there. Uh, we're just basically gonna right click these uh, easy ease then and what we're gonna do is on this keyframe we're gonna drag it um, to like negative 38 and just to give you guys an idea of what this does let me make this keyframe negative 38 so you can see it makes our text kind of slanted like this and uh, I want to offset this keyframe so I'm gonna move over five frames And uh, as you see, as our text comes in, it's, it has this, this nice little movement to it. So if we ran preview it, you see it has that, that nice movement to it. So now, um, how can we make this a little better? Well, what you can do is come over here, uh, add motion blur to it. If you click this button right here, that adds motion blur. And if you click up here and enable motion blur, when it moves, you see it has this little blurriness to it. So if we just ran preview it, you see now it's all motion blur. Okay, so uh, next step to keyframing, uh, I'm just going to... Uh, actually drag this under my paper texture so now my um I don't know if you can really see it in detail but now basically the the paper is looks like it's um in the text so uh yeah uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a another text and uh, I'm just gonna make this bold italic gonna shrink this down a little bit. I'm gonna change the color to like a, a white. Okay. Now um what we're gonna do with this one is if you hit A for anchor point we're gonna uh, just drag the anchor point to the middle about right there and then just drag it up to the top so which is about right there and uh, if we come back to our title safe and proportions uh, we can just pretty much line this up to the middle of the screen like so and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it under my um, my paper layer so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to animate this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make it kind of swing in. So we need to make this a 3D layer. We can go ahead and throw our motion blur on it. Uh, and then come down to our um, Z rotation. 
and I'll just make a keyframe set this one to 180 oh, click it. set this to 180 uh, go over oh, actually don't keyframe it right there let me go over back to my 20 frames so when this animation stops this one comes in okay now we're going to set a keyframe for our Z rotation at 180 and go over another 20 frames and set it to zero and uh, you can go ahead and make the easy ease okay so now what we're going to do is um, we'll come over to our first keyframe we're going to hit T for opacity uh, make another keyframe and uh, I want my to be visible about right there so we're going to hit another keyframe and then we're just going to um, change this one to zero and then make sure you have them both clicked and don't forget to easy ease the keyframes just to make them a little smoother and like I said if you hit U on the keyboard it will bring up all your keyframes hold on real quick I have to send this text message out to somebody Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the inconvenience, but um, now as you see, uh, our text is flying in like so. So if I ran preview it, you see we have our text flying in now. Uh, what's wrong with this? Okay, first of all, our first animation looks really good. It's very fluid. It actually looks like it flows in. But our second animation is real kind of stale and plain, just the way it kind of like slides in, like. If something was swinging, it really wouldn't swing like that. So you can use a technique called overshooting. And what this does is, so we're gonna go to um, our keyframe that we set to zero. If you change this to 28, I mean negative 28, go over five frames, change this one to 28, go over five more frames, change this one to about 15 go five more frames change it to negative 15 and go another five frames and change it to zero and we can just click all these keyframes and easy ease them kind of moved over a little too much on this one so just scoot that a tad bit over okay and, uh, all right so now that we have our keyframes and now they're over shot now you will see what the animation does it pretty much just makes it kind of swing like this because if something was really swinging it would kind of you know before it really stops it would kind of swing a little bit before it actually like really stops so we can just play through that real fast and uh, we could actually make this swing for a little bit longer it would look a little bit better if you made it swing for a little bit longer and uh then finally what you would do to the layer is um just make a new adjustment layer uh come up here to blur and sharpen uh add a fast blur to, to about two to that to about one just you know to touch it up a little bit and there you have it um simple animations using keyframes uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um, don't forget to like the tutorial um, I hope this helped out my next tutorial I will be going over um, shape layers and after effects and how to animate sh 
animate shapes and make them look cool and the power of pre-composing your animations and shape layers. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. It's been BlazerDB and I will talk to you guys later.